Hello and welcome to today's video. We are here for season three, episode number six of our NASCAR Xfinity Series NASCAR Heat 2 Championship. Today we're going to take on Dover and Pocono. So let's head to Dover right now. All right, here we go. We have qualified in the 11th position. Which really works out fine for me, I feel. It works for me, because I'd rather be on the bottom of the track than on the top of the track when I pull the car out there. Because I can do stuff like this. Stay low, stay low. Easy, you don't have easy. to worry about Outside figuring out how you're going to cut down the track. Instead, you can worry about how am I going to pass everybody in my way. All clear, driver. That's exactly what I've done here. <laughs> <coughs> I left everybody behind. We're almost everybody because I'm in third now. Clear. Let's cut back on the track there in front of Elliot Sadler. Still a car out there. Clear out low. Justin Allgaier, huh? Trying to do a little bit of passing on you, Sam. Alright, we're back to the lead here. Camera just glitched out for a second and changed in that corner. Three laps to go here in stage number one at Dover. You guys a little bit of first person action here. For some reason, the game developers love this angle. Cause all of their stuff, whenever they show the game, like from their actual videos, is this. I watched a video before the game came out where they were like showing it to people, and this is how they race in the entire game. And then they had the video for the Charlotte Road Course, which is coming out in the 2018 update, of course, as you guys know. Their whole four lap. Here's how this track works. They showed this. And I'm just like, that's a yikes. That's probably the worst camera angle in the game. Because first person's pretty cool. But I really like this one. I don't know, this is just the way I've always liked racing games. So here you go, lap six of six. Gonna come up off the corner here. Win stage ago. number one. I'm not pitting here, actually. We're not pitting. Check your belts. We're going to the green. Nice and smooth here. We're going green. Outside, hold your line. All right, here we go. Daniel Hammond trying to make a move on the outside. Hold the bottom. Steady. Outside, real tight. Daniel Hemrick, huh? Trying to make the move, but I'm going to make sure he don't make clear, a clear. move. Here we go. Oh my god, I hit in the wall. Outside, real tight. Clear up Lap top. Two of seven. Here we go. Down the back straight here. And into the turn. Lap three of seven. Five to go. go. We've really done a good job of just leading this race. And I think that's going to be helpful. Because if we just go into whatever race is next, 
when we race the next the next bit of the race, we should be fine. All right, three laps to go here in the stage. We've led a real lot of laps in this race. And I think that's good. I'm pretty happy with that. And we'll see if we can actually get the game here. We're only at halfway. We're only at halfway now. If we get a win here, we will have 199 wins in NASCAR Heat 2. But you guys can see how difficult it is, because I was talking about that in the previous episode. How difficult it is to get that achievement in the previous game. It's a lot easier than this when you race three series. But if you only race one series, you have less opportunities. Because I've only won 50, no, I've, I've won about 50 races in the Cup Series. So I think I got 48 in that, and I got 53 in this, 54, so with that, that equals 100 races right there. But you take out the extended series, and we only have like 70 something in our series. Taking tires cost me 25 spots on the track, guys. Almost ready. Nice and smooth here. We're going I don't know if that seems logical. Really, really don't. Do you really lose 50? 50? What the hell? Why does it say 50? Do you really lose that many spots? Because did nobody else take tires in the field? They did. That's a dumb yeah, move on quick. them. Because I... I'm going now. Look, like, this is what happens when you don't take new tires. You're gonna get wrecked in the, the thing. Right there. There's right one there. car that's taking new tires, up top. and you don't. Like, like look at how far I've already gone through the field. I'm already up, about to pass the tenth place car. Is clear. And I pit just a lap or two ago. Cause we're already clear ninth. Point. Me back in like 26. We gotta really capitalize on these new times. We're gonna have so much more grip for two or three more laps. Clear, clear. And then they're gonna balance back out with everybody else. Outside, real tight. Not balance back out, but they're gonna lose that ability clear high, quick. to really just go through the entire field. Because right there they went from 86 to 84. Stay low, stay low. Steady. Clear out low. I feel like racing the Xfinity Series cars is easier to go than the trucks were. But there you go. Like, I could not make it the whole field when I got new tires in the truck series. But we've done it here. See, it lost yeah, about 10% in grip in just two laps. So we're already to 78. We were 88 when I last checked it. Or when I checked it two laps ago, start talking about it. It's gonna fall off soon. Because if I don't take any new tires, I wouldn't have gone to the field that fast. Obviously. I'd still probably be back. I think I'd be at about maybe 10th now. But these new tires are so much faster. You guys know how new tires are a lot better if you guys watch actual NASCAR race, which I'm sure if you watch these videos, you do. So... I just, I don't know, I think that's beneficial because it's just like in the actual NASCAR races, when the driver takes new tires, they go through the field really fast. Granted, it's easier to pass cars in a video game than it is for real, but you get the point. 
They probably, w if you have new tires, you fall back to 25th, you'll probably get to the top five. Getting back to first is a little bit harder than I made it seem there, but for real, you can do that. And with just one lap to go here. We are 2.1 seconds ahead. And yet again this season. We are going to win a race. We're going to go on to Pocono. Coming up. No. All right, here we go, guys. We qualified 10th at Pocono. A win here gives us win number 200 in NASCAR Heat 2. A loss here, and it hands the opportunity of win number 200 over to the next episode of NASCAR Heat 2 in the Monster Energy Cup Series. Hold your line. Of course, I'd love to win the Xfinity Series, our best series. Clear, clear. Best. We have already nine wins on the season of ten races in this series. No, we have no, we have ten wins in the eleven races this series. We had nine when we won. Um, there was a Ford over. So we have won every track so far except for Atlanta. Which is surprising because Atlanta's my favorite track to race. But anyways, we have a win at every other track besides that. Right now, we are on track to probably lose three races total on the season. If we keep this up. I, I don't know about Iowa. <laughs> if we can keep this winning streak going, this series will be insane. I don't really know what happened. Like this, did I get better at the game? Because I didn't change the difficulty settings. <coughs> They've been at 97 the entire series. Um. I know that 105 is the hardest and 85 is the easiest, so I put it at a relatively like in the middle, but a little bit harder than in the middle. Difficult because the middle is 95, so it's, a, it's above the middle difficulty. Not racing 85 because that's easy as fuck, but I'm not racing 105 because that's hard as fuck in the middle. You know, we were we did race on 97 for season one. And I upped because I'm like, oh, that's too hard. I mean, that's too easy. So we upped it to 97. We may up it to 99 for season four. But we're kind of doing wild things here. Right now, we are on the verge of winning 200 races in this game. The other thing about that is that we won 17 races in the regular season of Season 2. And we've won 10 already. We're only 7 wins away from tying what we did last season. I mean, with the points that we've collected, we've already collected 500 something points. And there's 23 races in the regular season. And we're number 12 right now. We could almost be at 600 points by the end of this race. Uh, we have Michigan and Iowa next week. Um, we can win Michigan. Iowa's a bit concerning for me. Uh, win Iowa would be amazing, but uh, Iowa's a little tricky. It's not my best track. It never has been. 
We have three shots to win on a race that I on the channel before it's gone. Forever. <coughs> <coughs> Only took two tires, and we lost a couple spots, Ready. but. Steady. Race is going green. Low, low. Okay. So that should even out. We should be. Fine the car out there. Clear down low. We have the lead back entering turn number one. Bad, real tight. Yes, we do. Clear, clear. Easy mode. Let's leave these guys behind to go win ourselves another race. This is kind of wild. Kind of wild. All right, so here we go. Drive into the corner here. The way. Do you know the way? And okay, we're gonna have some sort of pass for the lead here. I don't know if I led that lap. Outside. I've been very oh, triggered those for the win. I couldn't really tell who won it. Or who let it. So we gotta watch out for then. Didn't know if we aerodynamically damaged our car by slamming into so I wanted to go peep. I didn't, but I just seen a little bit of a if you look above the spoiler on the right side it looks like it's a little dented in. Didn't have that aerodynamically damage the car. What does it put Jeremy Clemens like good at the game? That's five to go. Cause he's not good. He got one win this season, lucky based on somebody crashing, I believe. So with five laps to go. Um, I think we're going to be uh, doing good here. I think we should be doing good. That's just the shadow, isn't it? Of my hair on the... Yeah. Alright, so, couple laps to go here. We should have four to go at the line. And I gotta say... Uh, we're having a good run right now. Having a real good run. Let's peep how the tires look. So the right side tires have balanced out with the left side tires. These are, we only took right sides to not lose as much position. So they've actually got more wear on them again. Because it was 86 to 100. Now it's 74 to 72. It's just that right front tire gets so much wear on it. Because where all the pressure, all the force in the corner is being put on. That's why you always see the right side tires. If they're going to make a pit stop, uh, it's going to be the right side tires that are going to be normally changed off the car first. If they're doing a two-tire pit stop, that's going to be their first choice. And the game, because you can't pick to change left or right side tires, if you pick two, it automatically does the right side. Because they're the more worn tires. The only time that the right side maybe doesn't get worn as much as the left is road courses. Because they're going back and forth. But at the oval tracks, it's always that right tire because it's higher up. So it's doing more... It's got more force on itself on the turn. You guys have seen that number go down in the last just couple laps. Went from 75 to 61. Seen the other one went from 74 to 69. So it's 
definitely go. going down to slower pace. But then it's the opposite for the rear tires. The back rear tire is the best of all them. And the back rear has the most the most wear of rear tires. Not really sure what that is. Maybe that's because that's the tire that like has to catch up the most in the corner here. Because the back, the way that it slides it looks like that one's the one that has to try to grip the most. But that front tire has definitely is continuously the number almost constantly moving down. Just in the back little bit there, those two turns, it went from 55 to 52. Just one more good lap. This is it. it mostly goes on a lot in the turns, but it will lose a percentage or two down a front straight. Like right here, right the second we hit this turn, it's going to hit 51. Just because of the wear on it. Now it's going to go to 50. Keep turning, 49. So it went from 52 to 49 in that one turn. 48 on the straight. So it's 48, and this turn is going to go 47. 46, so it lost another 2 percentage. And let's see... Final turn is going to be like 40, 42 when we exit the turn. Oh, 44, 43. Okay, so I was only one number off. But I did just win a race. What? Just happened. Uh, we did it. We won. We won. Well, there you go. That should be win number 200. We should get the achievement when we go back to the menu, I believe. Because on updates, because it does. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was win number 200 in NASCAR Heat 2. And win number 11 on the season. We'll see you guys in 